Hi there, my name is Tim Mulholland. I'm a podiatrist at Pride Plus Health and a clinical academic at La Trobe University. Today, I'd like to talk to you about orthotics. Orthotics, well, they're these nifty little devices that us podiatrists pop inside shoes to help treat injury and various things that can go on with the foot and the lower leg. So, let's start off by discussing what actually are they? So, an orthotic is something that sits inside a shoe that's made out of a very different type of material these days. Um, and they're able to work by gently pushing on the foot where you would usually find muscles provide a pulling force on the foot. So if we think about what that means in real life and, and for our own bodies, every time we walk and run, our muscles throughout our legs are pulling to contract, to stabilize and to propel us forwards. With an orthotic, we can use a gentle pushing force to decrease the peak amount of pulling that those muscles are gonna be doing. Where this comes in handy is if we have an injury. If we've got an overuse type injury of a muscle, a tendon, or if we're stressing a joint a little bit too much, we can provide a little bit of balance and a little bit of pushing so that we're offloading that pulling force. Something that orthotics don't do is that they don't change your foot posture. So we used to believe, us podiatrists, certainly guilty of that, that all feet had to look and function in a certain way, and it was called the foot posture. If you had a high arch, we needed to get a little lower. If you had a low arch or a flat foot, we needed to get a little higher. And so back then, when we were prescribing an orthotic, we'd be really pushing up hard underneath some lower arched or flat footed people's feet. And that could be quite uncomfortable, particularly if that was too much of a pushing force, because we were trying to get that foot posture to look a certain way. Through a little bit more research, we found out why that this wasn't so successful every single time. Certainly worked for some people some of the time, but not the most people, most of the time threshold that we look for. And so we refined and we, we developed a tissue stress model where we understand a little bit about, okay, it's not the foot posture itself that needs to change. It's not to make an arch where there was no arch or lower an arch where an arch is really high. It's what tissues are being overworked why are they being overworked and can we push somewhere on the foot with an orthotic to help out? So that's for the overuse type injuries through tissues inside the foot. It can also be used for some of the tissues outside the foot as well. So corns and callus are pressure lesions that build up on the skin. And if we have poor circulation in certain conditions like diabetes or maybe we're a heavy smoker, we may have developed these predilection for corns and calluses to turn into ulcers, which precede amputations, and feet don't grow back. So where an orthotic can be useful there is they can decrease the peak pressure on certain areas of the skin, redistribution, redistribute it away from, say, a painful corn underneath the little toe, and move a little bit more pressure underneath the third or the fourth toe. Now they can't make it disappear, it's all about moving it around, but orthotics can be very successful at doing that. So how do you get a pair of orthotics? And what's the difference between, say, a custom orthotic that a podiatrist is going to prescribe, something that you can pick up off the shelf at the chemist or at the supermarket? Okay, so an off-the-shelf device is something that is very generalised, sort of looking at there's a, a, lower, a group of lower arch feet and they can do a mild little nudge underneath them. They're not specific to the amount of force, so how hard you push and where. So if we're thinking about the foot, the more we push towards the back, we can affect things happening around the heel, around the, the leg as well. And the more we push further into the arch and into the forefoot, we can affect these areas, things like big toe, bunion type development. With the off the shelf devices, you're getting just a very general, mild, generalized push, pretty much smack bang underneath the arch. That can be really good for some people and solve all problems, but it doesn't fix everything for everyone. So with a custom orthotic, what a podiatrist does is they analyze the way your foot moves, the strength of the tissues that control and support that movement, and then they'll combine that with things like joint axis positioning, how much your joints move, and come up with a, a bit of a theorem about how far and how much pushing needs to happen on your foot. From there, in these modern times, some 3D laser scans will be taken of your foot, a little bit of digital CAD CAM development will be done, 
and a lab will most likely 3D print out an orthotic with minimal wastage, so it's a much better carbon footprint compared to older plastic devices that were milled and, and heat molded and flexed and shaved down. Now, because they're made exactly to your feet, it means that your podiatrist can be confident to say, yeah, this orthotic is gonna work for you because we have this background of the research and the understanding, um, and it's something that at Pride Plus Health, we guarantee. So we guarantee that our orthotics are going to be successful um, in achieving the goals that we set out with you to achieve. Um, so on, on that, once your orthotic has been scanned and the prescription developed for your podiatrist and the lab has printed out your device, there'll be some various additions, some are cosmetic, you might want to have some bright colours, some will be functional, we might need to add a little bit more padding or cushioning in certain areas depending on your foot. We can see in this one here, we've got the shell, we've got some more cushioning underneath the arch and some softer materials on the top. And from there, your podiatrist will be able to pop them in the shoes that are most appropriate for you and when you're using them. So it might be something that you have in just your work shoes, just your training shoes, just your runners, or a combination of all three. Depending on what your needs are and what your goals are that you and your podiatrist have developed, we'll decide how often and where you wear your orthotics as well. You could be somebody who looks at multiple pairs and having specific orthotics for specific movements. Say, somebody playing football, you want something as light and as slim as possible to get inside a football boot, and those movements that you're doing on a footy field, a lot of running very quickly, and then fast change of direction type things, very different to if you're a bit more of a weekend warrior like myself, who wants to get out and go for a run, pretty much running on flat level surfaces, doing the same step over and again, that's sort of a different type of orthotic. Sometimes your podiatrist will be able to develop an orthotic that'll work for both of those things, depending again on your goals and your feet, and other times it'll be needed to be a little bit more specific and you might be a, a multi-orthotic user. So from here, I hope we've been able to give you a bit of an understanding about what orthotics are and what's the difference between a custom-made or a prefabricated orthotic inner sole type thing that you can get from the chemist. If you'd like to learn a little bit more, our website is chock full of information at prideplus.com.au and you can click through to learn about orthotics or all manner of things that us podiatrists like to help you with.